The world continues to mourn the loss of the man they called simply the greatest, Muhammad Ali. And for a boxing area rich in history, Rhode Island is no different. We cut off with longtime boxing promoter Jimmy Birchfield Sr., who has firsthand Ali stories for hours. Here's Jared Planner. As Louisville, Kentucky mourns a native son who defined boxing, so too is Muhammad Ali remembered in Rhode Island by people who knew the greatest, like veteran boxing promoter Jimmy Birchfield. His office, wallpapered with snapshots of Ali's greatest moments, pieces of history signed by the man himself. Jimmy met Ali early in his career. He was close friends with trainer Angelo Dundee. Jimmy says every time he watched Muhammad fight, it was beautiful. He had a great jab and a good hook, but once he's seen a flaw with his jab, you were, you were done. The complete package, wit, charisma, intellect, the ability to size people up. He was brilliant. He beat so many opponents before they even started fighting. He just, he would break them down. If he's seen a weakness in your personality, he'd go after it. And by time it got to the fight, he'd have that fighter in his hand. In March of 1979, Ali came to Rhode Island for a charity event months before he would announce a short-lived retirement. He calls me and he said, I'm coming to Providence, but I only come to Providence if you're going to make me eat at your famous classic. I said positively. At the Charles Street restaurant, Jimmy had an upstairs VIP table roped off and waiting. He said the place looked like it did on New Year's Eve. And he said, are them all your people down there? Them, them, your customers, your friends? I said, yeah. He said, take the rope down. He, he went, let all them people come, took pictures with them, signed autographs, did everything. But the Providence trip was not complete for Ali, a man who never forgot his roots. The man who had lived at the top had a simple request. He said, Jimmy, I want you to take me to the worst place in Providence where my people are. And this guy's, they had too much of drinking and laying on the table and nobody's recognizing Muhammad at all. All of a sudden, one guy behind the bar recognizes Muhammad. They went crazy. He sat with every one of them people individually and he said, I'm gonna give you some money if you promise me you're not gonna buy drugs or drink with this. He gave every one of them people in there $50. Jimmy Birchfield lives with these incredible memories of a person he calls exceptional, who believed in his sport, who believed in people from different walks, believed they could do great things as he did. People say anyone can be replaced. Muhammad Ali could never be replaced.